the day of the triffids. Ah! Hi, this is a review of The Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham. I had to read this book for my apocalyptic fiction literature class, and I guess you can say I liked it. I've had to explain the storyline of this book to so many people because I was raving about it to them and then had to like go through the entire plot line, so let's see if I can do it again. The book was published in 1951 and the main character is called Bill Mason. The story starts with him waking up in a hospital with bandages over his eyes, and at first everything is completely silent, which seems very weird. So he takes off the bandages and starts walking through the hospital and discovers that every single person he sees there is blind. And they're tripping over each other, there are dead people everywhere and people are panicking. And then you kind of discover that the night before all of this happened, there was a weird meteor shower with, I think, green light, and everyone who looked at that is now blind. So it starts out with mass hysteria in London. That's one part of it, but it's called the Day of the Triffids, and you might wonder what Triffids are. The Triffids are kind of weird plant that just kind of showed up out of nowhere, at least that's what most people think, and they've become very popular. But now that everyone's blind, they are kind of becoming a bit more alive than they were before, and some of them might even start walking around. It sounds so weird to kind of explain it as this book is about walking, living plants, attacking people, but that's just a part of the story. It's a really fun part of the story, but it's not everything, of course. The book covers quite a long period of time, several years, so you can kind of see what happens to London, then they move to the countryside. They're trying to survive with the few people they have. A lot of people are blind. Some of them can see they just don't know how to live their lives in a world that's kind of changing around them. They're waiting for people to rescue them, but then they start to wonder, is there anyone left? that can rescue them. People start living together in groups and then you get disagreements about how to like start this new kind of world. I enjoyed this book so much. It's probably one of the best I've read in the last couple of years. You know sometimes when you get that feeling when you read the first page of a book and you think this is gonna be good. It's kind of a combination of the storyline and the setting and the writing and all the ideas behind it that I really like. By the way, I think that the guy on the cover looks an awful lot like Nathan Fillion. Is it just me or? I like how the main character kind of stays calm and like tries to figure out what to do instead of just like flailing and running through the streets of London. I also really like that it's set in London because I've been there a couple of times so when he's describing certain areas where he's walking around and he's describing the way that everything's been destroyed and people are just running around screaming, it's made it very real for me. Obviously the plants, not very realistic, but the idea of panic. There's one moment when there's a lady who's blind and she has a younger kid on her arm, she's trying to find canned food, and the kid can still see, so she's trying to get the kid to like read labels or something, obviously the kid can't do that, and then a guy runs up to them, he's also blind, and I think he pushes them, he like grabs the cans and runs away, and the main character can still see, so he sees that the guy's running away with tins of paint. In the comments you can let me know if you've already read the book and what you thought of it, and uh, if you haven't read it yet, let me know if it sounds interesting to you. I will see you guys later, and bye! Hell me cool.